What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video, I will be reviewing The Acolyte, Episode 4, Day. So, if you like this kind of video, then please consider liking and subscribing, and hitting the notification bell for more Acolyte coverage in the coming weeks. And there will be spoilers for this episode, consider that your warning. And in this episode, it... It goes back to just after episode two. On Kofar, we see Kel Naka, the Wookiee Jedi, make himself a meal. Then on Coruscant, we see Jeki and other Padawans doing drills. Osha says goodbye. May and Kamir arrive on Kofar. May is unsure how she'll kill a Jedi unarmed. They set out to find Kel Naka. Back on Coruscant, the Jedi are deciding what to do about May. Long story short, Sol gets permission to go after May with Osha. Sol, Osha, and a Jedi task force leave for Kofar to bring Kelnaka to safety as they know he is a target for May. While in the briefing, Osha is bothered by Basil, some weasel thing that is their tracker. And then there's some dumb line about, oh, what pronouns? He, they, whatever. Because, you know, we have to have that in Star Wars now, so hooray. They land on Kofar and head into the forest. After some time, the Jedi come to a wood that has these strange growths on them. Osha touches one, and it turns out it is some flying beetle thing, and Sol slays it. May and Kamir stop to rest, and Kamir goes for water. May sets a trap. Basil the tracker is lost. Kamir returns when he hears screaming and is trapped, hanging upside down. May says she'll turn herself into the Jedi and give up what her master wants. May finds Kel Naka's house, but she also finds Basil, who begins screaming, and so she runs to the house. Inside, May finds Kel Naka dead with a saber cut to the chest, and she knows that her master is here already. The Jedi arrive and demand May come out with her hands up, and that's when Smilo Ren descends behind them and approaches Osha. He stands face to face with Osha and ignites his red blade, causing the Jedi to ignite their lightsabers. And that is where the episode ends. This was the shortest episode thus far, and the least amount of stuff happened. Basically, May and the Jedi arrive on Kofar and meet at Kelnaka's house where Smilo Ren arrives and ignite the lightsabers and all that. So, yeah. Like the other episodes, it was boring. And the, this one, you know, not really anything happened. It's, yeah. And I don't know. The, the way Smilo Ren, because he just like descended, like, I don't know. I feel like we've never seen that before in Star Wars. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, it almost looked like he was just like, he was like flying and then he just descended right behind in that, but I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's the review. You can let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.